Hello guys, Darko here. Welcome to my new calibration video. This time for Sony's 55 XD 9305. That's actually Sony's best 55 inch LCD TV in 2016. And in this video, I will show you settings after calibration for standard dynamic range HD content. For example, if you're watching Blu-ray or internet HD videos. I'll start with opening action menu and going down to picture in which you see on the right hand side picture mode option so there are many different picture presets TV will come by default in standard mode which is very poorly set with oversaturated colors increased sharpness and uneven gamma much better are custom cinema pro which I use for calibration and cinema home there are also different presets, if we scroll down there is also game mode, graphics mode and HDR video which I don't recommend to use with standard dynamic range content. So let's go back to Cinema Pro, auto picture mode is off, that's one of Sony's options basically to automatically switch to different picture mode depending on content type I like to have full control over settings so I keep this option off brightness which is actually backlight intensity adjustment on this TV is set at 20 I reduced it significantly because by default picture in cinema modes as well as in custom mode was over 300 nits on full screen covered with white which is simply too bright so with this option I reduced it color default 50 and light sensor off if you want TV to automatically adjust luminance of the screen depending on your uh, lighting in the room then enable this option now let's see advanced settings so Sony is separating them in four different categories brightness color clarity and motion let's start with brightness as I said brightness 20 on Samsung and LG TVs you will see brightness control for adjusting of black level but Sony is actually naming it correctly below is contrast which is actually white level set at 90 which is just right gamma minus 1 by default was minus 2 in this preset but I was aiming for gamma 2.2 so with this I achieved very flat gamma also with help of 10 point color gamma adjustment you will see uh, very soon what I did there black level so on Samsung and LG TVs and some others black level is actually named brightness but Sony is naming it right so black level 50 was just right on this unit black adjust off advanced contrast enhancer that's dynamic contrast control I prefer to keep it off auto local dimming so despite this TV being an edge lit LED LCD TV it's really effective for this technology and I prefer it at low if you are bothered with halo effect or sometimes dynamic turning on and off of LEDs then you simply can disable it altogether extended dynamic range that's very similar to dynamic contrast I prefer to keep it off you can play around if you want to see how it works let's now go to color option color 50 hue 0 color temperature expert 1 I used expert 1 and then in advanced color temperature I adjusted it so what I did for basic adjustment red gain max green gain minus 5 blue gain minus 5 red bias green bias and blue bias at 0 now let's go to multi-point 10 point adjustment so for 100% I adjusted red offset 0, green offset 0 and blue offset 0. Let's see 90%. Red offset 0, green offset 0, blue offset minus 3. 80% red offset 0, green offset 0, blue offset minus 3. 70% 
red offset minus one, green offset minus one, blue offset zero. Let's see, 60%, red offset zero, green offset zero, blue offset zero. Now 50%, red offset zero, green offset zero, blue offset minus one. 40%, red offset zero, green offset zero, blue offset zero. Let's see, 30%, red offset zero, green offset zero, blue offset zero. 20%, red offset minus seven, green offset minus seven, blue offset minus five. And finally 10%, red offset minus 12, green offset minus 12, blue offset minus 11. So all these adjustments yielded very, very flat reference level of gamma and white balance. And now let's go to color space. So Sony TVs don't have color management system. Instead, you have this color space option. I recommend keeping it at auto because that way TV will automatically adjust color gamut depending on the source. So this sRGB slash BT709 setting, DCI or BT2020. So as you can see, DCI and BT2020 are giving the most saturated colors, but for BT709 content, you should use this option or auto, which will automatically take care of that. Live color, I recommend keeping disabled. Now let's go to clarity, sharpness 50, reality creation manual with resolution at 2, gave the clearest image and best resolution with least amount of Sony's artificial sharpening in the images. Mastered in 4K disabled, random noise disabled and digital noise reduction disabled. You can enable these two options for noisy content depending on your preferences. And finally motion, one aspect I really like on Sony's TVs, so I tried several motion flow scenarios and for watching movies I recommend either True Cinema or Custom Mode with Smoothness at 1 and Clearness at 1. So smoothness will affect how smooth objects move across the screen and clearness will take care of motion resolution, but the best motion resolution will be achieved with clearness and smoothness at close to max or max level. But for watching movies, I still recommend smoothness one, clearness one. For interlaced content, so watching, for example, movies which are in interlaced source, I recommend enabling this option and I got real nice result with medium setting. I recommend that you play a little bit until you find what works best for you. And that's it regarding these four advanced settings categories. Now let me just show you action menu, how to adjust aspect ratio. So here you need to select wide mode and select full option. So normal will squeeze, even 16 by 9 format. Wide zoom will uh, zoom cinemascope, so very wide content to fit the screen. And zoom will just zoom width and height of the picture. So keep it at full. And that's it, so after calibration I adjusted luminance to be below 200 nits and I got reference level of gamma and white balance. Colors were also very good despite the lack of color management system. So after calibration, color checker revealed average delta E errors of just 1.9, with only one value being at maximum 4.3, which is great result. And by default, average color checker delta E errors were 2.9, with max being 5.7. So excellent result, and together with really judder-free movie playback experience, I'm still very much enjoying this TV, and all details will be revealed soon in my full review video. 
guys thank you very much for watching new videos coming very soon don't forget to subscribe and also like this video share it and see you very soon bye